Hello everyone, I am Brock Pickin and this is my wife, Martha Pickin, and we have put together for you a series of seven different workouts that you can do at home. They are designed for individuals who work from home and the only equipment you would want to get would be a pair of running shoes and either a yoga mat or exercise mat. Each workout has something a little bit different. One focuses lower, another focuses upper body. There's a little bit of cardiovascular work at some point, core, balance, a whole variety of things for overall health and fitness. Each exercise that we do is going to involve doing a circuit. If you feel as though you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can go through the circuit a second or even a third time. Okay, so today your Monday workout is a leg blast. This workout should take you between five and seven minutes to do, and it's going to work all the major muscle groups in your legs. Let's go. Okay, so before we get started with the leg exercises, we're going to do just a really quick warm up to get your heart rate up and loosen up all of the muscles and joints in your legs. So with your arms out and elbows out, we're just going to start off doing 30 seconds with the knees nice and hot. You don't necessarily need to touch your elbows to your knees. You just want to bring everything up nice and straight. So we're going to keep on going. You should feel your heart rate start to increase a little bit. Might even start sweating. That's the whole point of the warm up is just to get the blood flowing and it's to prevent injuries. We're almost there. Go just a little bit longer. And we're going to move right into 30 seconds, bringing the knee across to the opposite elbow. Once again, the knees don't have to touch. The whole point is just to get that heart rate up, get that blood flowing. Keep going just a little bit longer. We've got about 10 more seconds. And that's 30 seconds right there. Okay, now the legs should be nice and loosened up and ready to start our workout. Okay, so our first exercise in this workout are going to be squats. We're going to do squats for one minute. And before we get started, I just want to show you what your squats should look like. So, we're working those large muscle groups, your quads, a little bit of your hamstrings, and your glutes. So, think about sitting right back into a chair. Your weight should be in your heels. So you're gonna sit right back, arms out in front for balance, and then breathing out as you come back up. You wanna try and get as low as about a 90 degree angle in your knees. You don't need to go any lower than that. And if you can't go that low, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. Focus on balance, focus on using those large muscle groups, and you want to be nice and controlled both down and up. So we're going to do this for a minute. Go at your own pace, and if you can, keep track of how many you do in a minute, then maybe you can do more the next time. You ready? Here we go. So you really want to focus on having nice controlled breathing, getting all the oxygen to those muscles, nice controlled, both down and up. That way you make sure all those large muscle groups are working. We're about 40 seconds in, 20 more to go. Almost there. and time that your minute right there. Hope your legs are feeling good. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do, Mark is going to demonstrate some stationary lunges. So, lunge position, she's got her front foot forward, back foot back, both toes are pointing forward in the same direction, hips are nice and straight up and down, and a stationary lunge, Mark is gonna demonstrate right now. So we're gonna go right down and back up. 
You don't necessarily need to touch that knee to the ground. Once again, you want to achieve about a 90 degree angle in that front knee and that's low enough. So, we're going to do 15 repetitions on one leg and then switch to the other side. Are we ready to start? Here we go. Here we go. There's one, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again with the breathing, breathing out, coming up, staying balanced, good, good job. You use those core muscles, stay nice and balanced. Go for about three more of these, three, two, and one. Good, we're going to switch and get 15 on the other side. Here we go, one, two, good stuff, three, and you can see Mark, it goes straight down, straight back up, good, you're almost there, good, go five more, five, four, three, two, and that's your 15 right there. Nice lunges, well done. Thank you. Okay, so the third exercise we're going to do are called stiff leg deadlifts. This is an exercise that's really effective for hitting your hamstrings, your butt, which is your glutes, and your lower back. So it's really important on this one to make sure that you focus on your lower back and you want to keep an arch in your back as you bend forward. I like to keep my hands right on my thighs. I'm going to slide my hands down my thighs and you can see that I've got that arch in my lower back. You always want to avoid being hunched over. You want to keep that back nice and safe. You can even think about keeping your abs tight during this exercise and that will help. So we're going to hit all of these muscles in through the back of the legs and we're going to do about 15 repetitions of this. Nice and controlled. You ready? Here we go. Nice and slow on the way down, breathing out, straight back up. When you come to the top, you can even think about squeezing your glutes together, and that activates them a little bit more. You can see that my knees are just slightly bent. So you don't want to lock them out completely. We got five more to go. Last two. And one more of those. There's your 15. Good job. Okay, for your last exercise for today, we're going to focus on doing some hip lifts. So this is again is going to work your glutes your hamstrings, all of those leg muscles in the back and what we're going to do laying down on the yoga mat you're going to have your feet flat on the floor and close to your hips and Mark is going to demonstrate one of these hip raises or hip lifts pardon me and it's as simple as that just lifting the hips off the ground until your legs and back are nice and straight and then slowly lowering back down we're going to do about 15 repetitions of this when you lower your hips back down, try not to let them touch the ground. So they're going to stop just before they touch. And that way we keep all of those muscles activated in through the back of the legs as well as your abs. So let's do 15 repetitions. Are we ready? Ready. Here we go. Good. Two, and nice and slow down. Three, good. Four, just as with the last exercise. Five, we're going to focus on squeezing those glutes together at the top. Six. Seven, good job. That one's eight, and you can hear Marta breathing out on the way up, which is great. That one's ten, you've got five more. Five, four, push, that's three, two more of those. Good, and the last one. Nicely done. This is the end of your leg workout for day one. We've got six more days to go in our seven day series, so we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.